What up, Joe? It started with the <laughs> penis part. Y'all ain't ready for this one. They ain't ready. Do you mean and Brando? Come on. Oops, I'm for what? Yo, what up, Doe? It's your boy DME. All right, boys. Let's 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 get into it. Let's get into it. All right. So the full card for uh, Smack Smack Volume One has been announced fully. You know, there's there's gonna be seven matchups. Apparently, no no surprise matchups. No surprise matchups. Okay. So what what it is is um it's it's gonna be a small room where they don't even know the location. The battlers and the people going don't even know the location right now. The only people who know the location is Smack, Beasley, and Norbs. And Norbs. And I'm sure if you offer Norbs, you know, a Twinkie or, you know, like a, a, a year supply maybe of, 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 of Ho-Ho's, you know, you, you might be able to, you know, get some information out of them. But we're not, I'm not sure. I'm not 100% on that. But it doesn't really matter. You know, it's kind of like a... It's kind of like a Godfather Mafia type of deal they're doing where you don't even know where, you don't even, like, you know, remember in Godfather 1, Michael Corleone, they had to go to the restaurant, you know, to see the guy, and he shoots him, you know, they didn't even know where it was, you know, they had to figure out where it was, you know, it's kind of like, kind of that ordeal, we don't know what's happening, they're going to end up blindfolding everybody, when they, when they pick them up, they're going to blindfold them so they don't see the route to it, and it's going to be crazy, it's going to be crazy, but... You know, whatever. So it's gonna be about 60 people, and apparently it's it's gonna be you know like either no no reaction or limited reaction. I, I'm not too sure. I, like like they're gonna tell people I don't think you know that you know to react. You know like just just you know you know it's that old school feel. So I don't know. You know I think it's gonna be good. I think it's gonna be good. You know now you know I wanna I wanna talk about this for a second before I get into the card. I'm getting a lot of feedback because people are talking about you're such a, you know you're 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 a URL hater you are a URL but you know what shut up all right whoever whoever thinks that can just shut up all right I'm not I'm not a hater it's called criticism all right you can, you're you're allowed to criticize and give advice of what, what you think if they, they want to take it they can take it if they don't want to they don't want to that's fine here's the problem all right y'all act like 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 okay they, they, the problem is they, they really don't promote much you know they don't and then you know the people who do, do promote their stuff they downplay those people and you know that that's not right that's not right so you know that's the that's the biggest problem now well I I will give URL props for this is, you know, like, you know, Piper Boy spoke out on earlier. I was watching him and he, he made some good points, but, uh, you know, we wanted pay-per-views and they finally gave us pay-per-views. Remember, that was my first kick when I first started blogging was about pay-per-views, you know? So now we're getting pay-per-views. Well, they had the shitty pay-per-view, so now they got, so we were like, well, you got to get avocado. And now they finally got avocado, right? And now, you know, they're, 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 they have more, um, they're, what you call it? They have, they're having more events. Now they're, they're doing, the people are complaining about the big room, so they're going to give them a small room version, you know, and then maybe the big room's just for the big events, you know? So it looks like they're listening, and that's good because, the, you know, they're, the pressure's on. They have, they're, they're taking in the feedback. They hear us. Remember, we are a small community. We are such a small community. We are a tiny community. You don't understand how small this is, all right? So what, like, like I was when I was I was saying yesterday, all right. The fact that URL only has seven hundred and twenty thousand subscribers in over nine years since like two thousand nine or whatever it is, all right. That's really not a lot in the grand scheme of things in entertainment, all right. And when I said that, everyone, some guys like, Ooh, yeah, people, girls who twerk at fifty million views. That's not that's not that's the point. I'm talking about in entertainment, all right. In all facets of entertainment, nine years to be in entertainment because that's what battle rap is. It's an entertainment. Um, uh, field to be in it for nine years and only to have seven hundred thousand subscribers is not successful in, in YouTube sense. All right, like like you know gamers and and people who and do all kinds of tech 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 blogs and this and that. They they get to a million so much faster than um, these battle leagues are. There's nothing wrong with that. Well, my point is like we're not as big as you guys really think this is. It's it's a very tiny small community and it's okay. It's okay. All right, that was my only point. All right. Is it, is, it, is it successful? It can be bigger. It can be bigger, but, um, you know, success is the eye of the beholder, you know, like, you know, whatever. Like, I think, I think this has been one of the best years ever in Battle Rap. 2017 has been one of the best years, I think, in Battle Rap. Had a lot going on. You know, the Oxy thing, just, the URL just dropping, you know, event after event. Um, um, you know, they gave us Hollow and, and Tay Rock, which, is, which was awesome. You know, I think this, this Smack series is going to be a good series moving forward. I'm really excited for it, and it's going to be good. You know, so it's not always negative, and when I do speak negative, all right, it, it's to help because I care. All right, they're like, well, you don't talk negative about King of the Dot. Number one, I do, all right, and number two, um, because, I, you know, URL, is, 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 it makes more news. They, there's more to talk about. There really is. They just they because because they're they're out there more. They speak about things more. Beasley is is out there. That's one thing I'll, I'll, I'll give credit to Beasley that he's actually out there and he communicates more than than other um owner, um battle league owners. You know, and not to say that the other leagues don't, but they make more controversial news. And we're not like like it's it's not that easy to come up here and just talk about a, such a small genre that really isn't that big. And and if you want to do it, you know, 
all week. It's, it's hard, you know, I'm not going to come up here and just be so positive all the time. And I don't care. You don't like what I say. I don't care. All right, so shut up. All right, but I'm trying, I'm trying, to, trying to give you my perspective. And if you don't like it, I don't care. All right, just, 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 just deal with it. All right, so anyways, so like I said, constructive criticism is good. Um, it seems like they're starting to listen. They're not listening all the way. And, um, you know, we're, it's baby steps. It's baby steps. But we're getting there. We're getting there. So it's all good. It's all good. So on this card, we have we have B-Magic and Av. All right, so we talked about it already, B-Magic and Av. Um, you know, B-Magic's been choking a lot. Av, Av had the whole stealing thing going, you know, going on, uh, the stealing bars and stuff. Is it true? Is it not? I think that some of it is true. I think some of it was coincidence. But um, whatever. But he's, he he did he had a, he had a great showing against uh, Gichigati. He I feel like he, okay. He lost to T Top, and only weird all you weirdos. Some of you weirdos are like he beat T Top. Okay, I, I don't I don't see that at all. T Top was clowning, dude. He was clowning him. He had the performance. Um, you know I don't just judge. You know. Uh, battles on bars, man. I'm don't like if you look timid up there, and if you don't have that, and I'm not saying Ab looked timid against T Top, but he didn't have that same confidence in um in his delivery that that T Top had, and I think that if that's the case, if you're not gonna have that same you know confidence as the next person, then your bars better be above and beyond what the other guy did, and I don't see that's what happened here in the T Top battle. I think T Top won that battle two to one, first and second round. I'm pretty sure. I think I gave Ab the third, you know. So watch it like three times, but whatever. You know, but the, I, so so B Magic Ab. Uh, I mean, it's a tough one. It's a tough one because it, it all depends on what B Magic shows up. All right, we can't depend on on, on B Magic to show up like like B Magic. He's either going to be B Magic or he's going to be the C Magician. Who shows up? It's going to be the magic trick that B Magic shows. So let's assume B Magic shows up and not the C Magician, right? And then the B Magic is going up against Ab, not uh, Mrs. Godiva, Mr. Godiva, but Ab. So it's actually B Magic against Ab. Then you know, oh, I, I feel like um, Av could edge it. It's going to be a tough one, man, because a, 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 a fire bee magic is, is hard to beat when he's getting in his groove. And, he, and you know, this is going to be interesting, guys. This is because the battle, the punches, the punches are going to be too much. All right. After this battle, there might not be any more punchlines left ever. All right. Like, like you might have to, you might have to retire punchlines because they're going to say every punchline in the world in this battle. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But if the Sea Magician shows up against uh, Mr. Godiva, then it could be a train wreck. All right, you got B Magic uh, choking. You got Av Av talking about I want to see the same energy, you know. But 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 you know, and then you know I'm gonna the seat belt. And, you know, I I never saw the battle. My bad. I never saw Hollow and Tay Rock. Okay. All right. But whatever. Whatever. We'll see. Hopefully that that doesn't happen and we get the right the right mix there. All right. All right. All right. JC and Twerk. All right. So this is like and I remember how this kid like and this is another thing people are like. I'm negative because I was calling it the night of the random battles. Why is something calling something random negative? It's not. All right? Just because something's random doesn't mean that's negative. All right? And even people in their defense of it were saying, you know, that's the whole point. It's random because back in the day, you didn't know who you are going to... Okay, then you're saying I was right. You're saying the point of it is being random. So me calling it night of random battles wasn't a dig, was it? All right? Be, all right? Calm down before you take digs. Like, relax, people. Relax. All right? But this is... It, it, you know, it's, it, it is random, but it, you know, it almost isn't random because here's the deal. You know, Twerk has an underrated pen. He really does. He has an underrated pen. JC has a, has a, has a, has a, has a, 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 a. Some people are starting to say it's overrated now, but it's not. I don't think it's overrated. It's definitely not overrated. JC has a fire pen. The problem with JC is he's taking too many battles and, he, and he's taking a couple of losses. I got him losing Ailman. I got him losing to um um I'm T top. All right, so uh I, I don't know. And then you got Twerk, Twerk, who's 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 had pretty much. One of the best rookie years in URL history. If I mean, if you really think about it, if you really think about it, he's had it. He's been on every single card, surprise battle, uh, two on twos. He was on Summer Madness, Battle Cortez, Debatable Battle. Um, uh, you know, he beat Ill Will. That they they released the trailer. They reached. Damn it! That's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. URL. They released the trailer. Good job. <laughs> Six months later, but you did it. All right, baby. Baby steps. We're doing it. We're doing it. All right. So. <laughs> um, so I, I I think I remember him beating Ill Will. That's the consensus that he did beat Ill Will. So that's coming out December fifth. So that's good. We'll get to see that. Um, you know, and he's had he's had a pretty good year, man. And and, and he has he has a lot of potential. This this guy has a lot of potential. You know, and and I guess giving him JC now, giving him JC now after after coming off consecutive losses. You know, people say the Ilmac battle is debatable. I I pre okay, you can call it a debatable. But he, he didn't. It wasn't a debatable against Tita. All right. And and I'm sorry, but but when you when you when you're talking that best in the world stuff, right? I'm the greatest. I'm the man. When 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 you've got that whole bravado and you're 
your chest is out like this with your six seven or shirts on, you know, and, and, and you can't take three old losses, bro. You can't. All right. So I don't know, man. Like it's the, like JC, the problem. OK, so it, 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 like this, this room and how it's perceived is really going to have a lot to do with, of what's going to happen here, because, you know, is JC's like can JC's pen um, overshadow what Twerk does? Um, Twerk's going to have the pen and the energy. JC, is, has he lost confidence? I don't know. Is he losing confidence in himself? That, that's a good question. J, uh, Twerk might be coming in to this very confident. You know, just, just the fact that he's got JC might, might you know, make him rise to the occasion. Maybe not. Maybe he'll fold under the pressure. I don't know. I don't know. But this is going, this is an interesting battle. This is an interesting battle. If I had to pick, guys... I'm going with Twerk, man, and 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 and, and you, you, some will call that an upset. You know, I love JC. You know, I won't be surprised if JC wins this, but I feel like I feel like Twerk might win this, guys. That's just crazy to say. It's crazy to say. I could be wrong, but Twerk has a very good chance of winning this. So we're gonna. This is gonna be a battle. I'm definitely gonna be watching. And the winner of this battle, this is a huge monumental battle. Let me let me tell you something because this this really is gonna. Like it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna show like it's gonna propel one of these guys to that next level. Even though you know it's crazy, JC's done so much and that whatever. But but you can't you can't take a loss to to T Top and Twerk back to back JC and and a potentially Ilmac three in a row. You know and and think you know Lux is is after that. That's gonna be a tough sell. I'm sorry, it's just gonna be a tough sell. So um, and then if and if Twerk wins this, then then we're talking we're talking we're talking a beautiful. A beautiful 2018 for Twerk, at least uh, matchup-wise, because he's going to get some really big names after this if he can beat JC. So this is on you, Twerk. You got to step it up. Step it up, bro. I'm going to be watching. I'm going to be watching. All right. Rum Nitty versus Iron Solomon. The battle that we leaked. I didn't leak. It wasn't me. I was the second leak. All right? It was the slave. The battle rap slave was the original leak, but whatever. Well, who cares about that? It's out now. See, it's not a big deal. What are you making this big deal about it? Whatever. You know, I, I, it's not right. I, I, I said the slave was wrong. It's not right. But... Is not that big of a deal, like in the grand scheme of things, all right? Like I said, we're a small community. The only people who really care or even saw are a small amount of people. Yeah, you want to roll it out the way you roll it out. I totally understand that. Slave, you were wrong. It's not a big deal. Everybody calm down. Everybody calm down. All right. So uh, th this is definitely random. I don't know. Iron Solomon back after five years, after getting Skittles thrown on him, after getting, after getting booed and booed and booed in and, and one of the worst URL main events in history, Murder Mook, uh, uh, who likes to watch that battle again? I have because I'm weird and I watched it three times probably in the past, you know, since it came out, which is not a lot, <laughs> you know, but I watch it for, you know, cringe worthiness, you know, and, and, and that and like that, that weird, like, 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 you know, watching a car accident type of deal. You know, that's why I watch that battle. But he's back. He's back. He's had fire battles. He had, he's been losing lately. He's kind of like J.C. He, well, J.C. had a had a fire, you know, beginning of 2016. So did Iron Solomon. And now Iron Solomon has taken some losses going into this battle. So. Rum Nitty, you know, he's, uh, he's an interesting one, another one. He loses to JC at Summer Madness, which is a tough loss to take, especially seeing what T-Top just did to JC. Okay, okay, but then you come back, and then you, and then you, win, at, uh, you win at traffic, and, and then you redeem yourself. So, you know, it's, it's, like, it's like nobody's coming into these battles. You know, now that I'm looking at these battles, the, the, these matchups, no one's coming in on fire. It seems like everybody... Is either been in hot and cold, hot and cold, you know. So that's the interesting thing about this 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 lineup. No one's actually been on fire, 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 you know. Like where they're just running through people and now they're here, you know. It's not like it hasn't been like that. JC, no. Twerk, no. Uh, you know, just hasn't been running through people. B Magic, no. no. Av, no. Rum Nitty, no. And Iron Solomon, no. So, you know that that's a, that, the, the the only reason I'd give this to Iron is because it is in where it's, how it's, it's it's in the small room where it's being taken place. If this was on the URL stage, I'm 100% giving it to Rum Nitty. I wouldn't even call. I call it a 3-0. You know, and I'm sorry. You know, just like Disaster, the URL crowds they don't mess with y'all. You know, they don't mess with Disaster. They don't mess with Iron Solomon. Um, you know, they mess with Sharon more than both those guys combined. And it's, it's crazy to think, but they really do. All right, like they showed him more love in that Shug battle than they've ever they will ever show. Iron Solomon and Disaster. And that's the kind of whole thing with Disaster, with, with the game he's playing, with this whole URL King of the Dot thing, you know. I understand it's out of necessity, but you got to understand, man, like, 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 I, I've been, you know, like, I, I've spent the last 10, nine years defending you. You know what I'm saying? Like, from all the people who, and the URL people who said you're trash. 
you're garbage. You're, you're nothing. You're, 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 you shouldn't even be considered a nothing. Like, I feel like, or I can tell you right now, 90% of them feel that way. All right. It's hard for me to find before, you know, you join the URL, you know, thing that you've done now to find. It was hard for me to find anyone who thought I was like in the world of my own, you know, that liking, like defending you, you know, unless it was because I, I, I talk to more people who are URL uh, fans and, you know, they're not the king of the die. Just that's how I, I, I just happen to associate more with. And, uh, and I could, you know, and then they, uh, everyone thinks I'm, I was crazy. And you know, now that you're on um, URL, there, there's, a, there's a few of, you know, the URL fanboys who are all about you now and think that, oh, yeah, yeah, disaster, because he's on our side. That's great. But I'm telling you, man, man, uh, I mean, you're owing two on URL, you, you know, they don't, they, you know, and then just the fan base in particular, man, they don't, they don't really rock with you like that. It's a sad, it's sad, but, you know, I kind of see it where sometimes where they're coming from. You know, but I, I, you know, I, I like, whatever, guys, you guys do what you want, man. I, I think it's pretty funny watching it now that some of y'all are just like, yeah, but it's weird. It's weird. Whatever. I, I, well, forget about disaster. Why are we talking about disaster? Nene, why are we talking about, hey, by the way, she wants to make an appearance. Say hi. Hi, Nene. No? <sighs> snotty, snotty, snotty girl. Her mom got, was going to get a beating today. She woke me up. I was tired. Your mom was being very mean to me today. Woke me, I'm tired. I just fell asleep. I'm about do this, do that. Oh. Anyways, let's continue. Uh, Shug Mike P. Shug Mike. Now, 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 let's do like random, 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 random. But, but, uh, you know, okay, Mike P. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna talk about Mike P. In one second. All right, Shug. Um, you know, he he's had a, he's had another one. He's not been hot or cold. You know, he beats Av, and he loses here, he loses there. He lost to DNA. You know, he, he you know, I don't know. He's had a, you know, this is another one. This is another one. And Mike P, you know, he really doesn't get clear wins. You know what I'm saying? But he has good performances, and I like Mike P. I'm a fan of Mike P. And I, I'm a really fan. I love Suge, man. I, I love I love Suge, man. I I can't get enough of Suge, man. I think Suge's hilarious. He's funny, and um, I like him. I like him a lot. Um, so let me let me just get this real quick. I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna rant about it too long, but um. It really, it really, this is the this is the reason why I'm so hard on the leagues, and, and I, I blame the leagues more than the battlers, but the battlers should man up too. But Mike P was on PSA podcast yesterday, and he's talking about um, you know, <clears throat> potential matchups and this and that, and um, he brought up well, you know, Young Cannon. You know, I guess Young Cannon's been calling out Mike P. And Mike P's just like, I'm not battling Young Cannon. All right, he does nothing for me. I won't battle him. That's you know, even though my, you know, he's been after him and after him. And Young Cannon, he's always trolling him and this and that. And they got a little storyline going. And he's like, I'm not gonna battle him. You know why you're not gonna battle him, right? Because you know you will lose to him. You know you will lose to Young Cannon, Mike P. And this whole ducking stuff and this and that, and that you guys even have the option. That's why I want there to be tournaments. All right, where you know. They, they, they set it up where, you know, there's a, there, there's on one side and this side is a lot of matchups that have, you know, just at least try to make it where there's not too many rematches, you know. It, I, who cares? You know, they're tournaments. So rematches, is, is, they're bound to happen. It's not a big deal. So, but but even besides that, the league should put their foot down, especially on someone like Mike P. Mike P., I mean, you're, you're, you're still new to this, bro. I mean, you're not a top tier, bro. And, and for you, and I don't, I don't think, I think only the top tiers or people have put in the work or have gained, gotten that respect, have put in battle after battle, have been in war after war after war, can make those, make those judgment calls that says they, they, they don't have to battle said guy or said another guy. All right. And then, and then another, one more thing. You also went on to say, even though you said you will never battle him <clears throat> because he does nothing for you. All right. You said, oh, you'll 3 0 him. All right. Here's a new rule. New rule. New rule in battle rap. If a battler refuses to take a battle, you're not allowed to say you will 3 0 said battler. No, we don't want to hear it. All right? That's the dumbest thing I ever heard. Oh, I'll 3 0 him, but I won't battle him. Then shut your mouth. All right? You sound dumb. All right? And I like you, Mike P. I said, so relax. All right? But I don't like that. I don't like that attitude. All right? It's the same thing I got onto Jack Boy about, and I'm going to get onto you about. Jack Boy, Duck Joe, you duck Young Cannon. I don't feel like you have earned the right to start ducking people. Only. Top tiers, and I didn't even like. I didn't even like that term. But only the guys who put in the work, like a Hollow, can say he's not gonna battle a young cannon if he doesn't want to. All right, because Hollow was on 106 and Park. He grew up. He's one of the greatest of all time. He can decide the battles he wants to do now. He didn't. He wasn't able to decide that when he was first coming up. All right, they threw him against anybody on 106 and Park, and he beat anybody he got in the front of. All right, so get out of here with this stuff, man. I hate it. I hate it. All right, everybody, what's he going to do for my brand? Hi, if you think you can 3 on him, 3 on him. That'll do something good for your brand. All right? But just, just and, then, and then if you don't, then don't, don't engage. Don't engage. Don't bring it up. Don't let the fans know it's even out there if you have no intention of battling it. All right? Just, just let it slide. Ignore it completely. That's the only option you have. If the leagues aren't going to step up and say, hey, Mike B, you're going to battle Chef Trezen. If you don't like it, you're off the next two uh, events. All right? 
Because that's what we're doing. We want, we, we feel like Mike P and Chef Trez make sense. I mean, not Chef Trez, but Young Cannon. See, I was, you know, I always get confused with Chef Trez and Prez Mafia. You know, the Trez and the Prez. You know, I get those guys confused all the time. I think when I was on Rome's, uh, when me and Rome were doing the interview thing, um, I think I got them confused a couple of times. And when I watched it back, I'm like, I'm, t- I'm, 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 I'm trying to talk about Chef Trez, but I'm talking about Prez Mafia and vice versa, whatever. But whatever, those guys and their names. All right, so whatever. So, you know, I feel like Mike P, I, no, 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 I got Sugar One in this. I got Sugar One in this two to one. Um, unless Mike P goes, uh, unless Mike P writes something, like, writes a masterpiece, right? And Suge has to, and that's another thing, Suge has to, Suge has to be Suge. If Suge is Suge, Suge can really, I, I, like, you, y'all don't, like, I understand, like, that, but, but Suge can rock a small crowd, bro. Like, his energy is, 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 is enough, all right? He's got a presence about him. People act like he needs the big crowd. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Sometimes that's a detriment to Suge. So, um, um, I, I got Suge, man. I don't know if Mike B can handle Shook, but we'll see. We'll see. All right. So then you got uh, you know Kayshawn and Danny Myers, the bar god, versus Danny Myers. Supposed to happen on on traffic. Never did. Never did because you know he had a baby. All right. All right. Peace. That's good. That's great. All right. We have babies. All right. So you know I feel like Danny Myers is going to take this. Um, Tony Bro said he heard one of Danny Myers' rounds. I know every time we hear that, the guy never comes out with a, a sweet round. But hopefully, Danny Myers. I think you're gonna do it. Um, I just I you know I got Danny Myers in that one straight up. Okay, Shiny, you're another one. You take too many battles. And both you guys, you know, you're not... Okay, so there's another case of either guy coming in hot. There's no guy coming in hot yet. Yet. So let's see if we get to there. Chef, Trez, and Chess. All right, so here we go again. All right, nobody... Chess has never won a battle, as far as I remember. I mean, I know... Yeah, he won... When was his last time? I, I, whatever. Chess, just... And then Chef Trez, you know, he's had an interesting one. You know, he's had, uh, he's had some lot of looks, a lot of battles lately. You know, but, you know, is he winning? Is he winning? I don't know. He's not really winning either. He's not running either. I thought Ryder beat him. I thought he lost to um, his last one that just came out. Uh, um, whatever. You know who I'm talking about. I forgot his name. But um, what's it? For, who cares? All right. And then, so I don't know. So I, I, they just, let me tell you something. Chess, my man, my man. I, I think I talked to you already about this, but, but, but oh, just, 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 just a recap. You, you cannot choke, bro. You cannot choke. You, you, you run out of that. You run out of that. Like you've used all your chokes. You know, that's it. It's a wrap. Like, like, you need to win battles, bro. You know, I know you're young, but we need, if you can't, if you can't come through with some battles, then what are we doing? What are we really doing? All right. So, and then, then, uh, Briz and O-Red. Briz and O-Red. Now, now, now. Well, it, not really. All right. So, Briz loses to Calico, right? Beats Ill Will, loses to Calico in a very underwhelming battle, you know, overall. Even if you had Briz winning, which I don't know how. But, I, you know, it, it, it was still a, not a good battle. Even though Calico won, it's not, it wasn't a great performance. So, Briz O-Red, O-Red, O-Red's been on, O-Red's, you know, battle of the year contender, all right? I had him, I had him slightly losing to Big K, but I am in the minority there, okay? And I understand that. I'm in the minority. Uh, people are giving um, O-Red that battle, especially, all right, because Big K, he lost the third round. He lost the third round. That, 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 that's a wrap. You know, I wasn't into that third round at all. I edged him the first and second, but, you know, Okay, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not in the minority there. I'm not in the majority there. So I have to just you know eat my L there and say that he might have won. You know, even though I don't agree. But but you know. But besides that, he beat K Shine. He's had a great year. You know, O Red's had had a had a fabulous year. Year. Um, Briz has, has an up and had a rocky up and has an up and down year. Another one. So this is you know not only is it the night of the random battles, it's the night of like the like the up and down hot and cold battlers. Like these are just a bunch of hot and cold battlers. You know, like um. Oh, Red might be the hottest one on this card that's coming into this, you know, on a good streak, you know, on a really good streak. So, I'm at it, uh, this one. I, I I could see O Red pulling this one. Now, O Red, I don't want to hear bows every five seconds. I'm sorry. I don't know. You all y'all think this is okay? All right, but this is out. Of, it's getting out of control. He had like 27 bows against um uh, uh Big K, bro. I counted them. I counted them. It wasn't 27, but you get what I mean. You know, it wasn't. It was a lot. It was a lot. It was in the teens. And um, and, he, and the problem with his bows is he brought back the bows. You brought them back. He's like, bow, dab, 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 bow. And then everybody goes crazy, I guess, because it was sweet. Okay. Let me bring that. He brings the back. Come on. Don't. You're going to bow. Don't bring it. Damn it. Don't bring the bows back. All right. Just don't. It's stupid. Enough. Be creative. But whatever. All right. So I'm excited for this. I still want them to apologize for the. Chris and buy his thing and take it down, but whatever. All right, I'm blaming that on Norbs. It's got to be Norbs' fault because he's fat, right, Nanny? He's fat. All right, so 
I don't know. It's good. I'm gonna I'm gonna order it because you know I I, I love this shit and um, I want to support the battlers, you know, and I want there to be more Smack volumes and, and and things like that. You know, this other stuff we can deal with Smack. You know, we could deal with them on a different level. But you know, as far as you know, talking to them and telling them, hey, you know, this ain't right. You know, you gotta you know at least show some love to other bloggers. All right, and 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 and, and there, one more one more. Let me end on this. Let me. There's been a lot of talk on the Twitters. All right, about about how bloggers are just a waste of life. You know, and they they don't, they don't do nothing. And 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 you know, it just it's so whack, guys. It's like you guys gotta just stop get over it all right with it okay we're like i said we're a very small community any um publicity is good publicity all right any anybody who uploads a video on youtube whether you get one view or a million of views you're not gonna get a million views but one view or whatever all right they're doing something you know to, to push the culture forward even if it's in a negative way because even sometimes the negative can can bring awareness you know even negative stuff brings awareness and that's what you need that's what you need is awareness because there's a lot of people who love hip-hop who don't like i okay listen I, nobody that i know like, oh, like, like of all the people, I know a lot of people. I work, I you know I own a bar and um, I talk to a lot of people, all right? And, uh, you know, they don't know what, they all love hip hop, right? But not, like 99% of them don't know what the hell battle rap is. You know, and it, it's crazy. It's crazy that like, it's, it's and a lot of people that I would think would know, had no clue and I introduce it to them all the time, you know? So, you know, awareness is good, you know, on YouTube or wherever, you know, just if you talk about it with your friends and you try to get your friends involved, you know, this and that. You know, you know, it, it all helps, man. It all helps. And I really wish that, and you know, they're like, well, people wouldn't stop watching. You know, the whole thing was, um, I, I said that people, if, if bloggers, there were no more bloggers. Every, every blogger stopped blogging about battle rap. That there, a certain percentage of people would stop watching battle rap. And there was a big backlash. Like, that's impossible. You love it. You're always going to watch it. No, no. That's taking advantage of your core fan base. All right. Don't always assume your core fan base is going to be there. Every industry has learned that. Wrestling has learned that. MMA has learned that. You have to, you cannot take your core fan base for granted because it will shrink it will always shrink because people will get fed up and sick of it you can only love something for so much before you know you're getting fed crap you got to constantly innovate you got to constantly keep us entertained you got to have face-offs you got to promote everything look at Mo floyd floyd mayweather would laugh would laugh his ass off if he if you sat him down and was like this is the url and this is what they do to promote their battles all right, he would he would call you. He, you think I'm hard on you guys? You know what he would say? You, you, you. Okay, he doesn't need to promote, and he promotes more than anybody because he understands that that will all be still come back plus. It will always come back in plus. All right, face offs help. All right, every blog the bloggers put out, uh, battlers, even the battlers put out help. All right, getting situations, even having a press conference, something. It all helps. All right, it, it brings buzz. Buzz is what you need. You can't just be lazy. Sit on your laurels and, and think everything's just gonna come to you. All right. And if and, and if you don't and if you don't respect my you know ideas, then that's fine. All right. But I think a lot of people agree with it. And you know I think you should take a look at it because I think it's it's something smart they should do. But whatever. Anyways, until next time, boys.